Despite its simplicity, the Valsalva maneuver results in temporary cardiovascular changes associated with the increased intrathoracic and intra-abdominal pressure and the corresponding changes in blood pressure. When a person performs the maneuver, it creates changes in intrathoracic pressure. Under normal conditions, blood returns from circulating around the body and flows into the right heart, which pumps blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen, and then the blood fills the left heart, which pumps the blood out to the body again. Let's look at a simplified view of what happens with a healthy individual performing the Valsalva with the Indicor device. The patient forcefully expires into the mouthpiece, which offers resistance to create pressure in the chest cavity. During the maneuver, the increased pressure in the chest prevents blood from returning from the body back to the right heart, so there is less blood flow into the left heart and less blood flow leaving the heart to the body. With the blood flow from the heart temporarily reduced, the result is lower cardiac output. This is reflected in a lower pulse pressure seen at the fingertip. In patients with congestive heart failure, fluid backs up from the body into the chest, including the lungs. This fluid buildup is referred to as congestion. As shown here, the congested lungs continue feeding blood to the left heart. There is already substantial fluid in the chest and elevated filling pressure in the left ventricle. So preventing blood from returning from the body back to the chest does not reduce the blood flowing out to the body. This is then reflected in the patient's pulse pressure, where little or no change is seen.